Grand rising to my king, queen, gods, and goddess. It's your boy Terror with one star, and this is for the Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, and Venus. Look, disclaimer. Look, this is for entertainment purposes only. You know, I try to come in and help everybody out the best way that I can. However, if some of some things may trigger you in this, you gotta remember for one, this is a timeless reading, two, this is a general reading. So the energy will be spread very, very broad against all the Virgos. So how are all the Virgos doing today? Let's go and get started. Before we get started, I just feel like for a pre-energy, before we get into what we're getting into, I just feel like maybe some of y'all have been down lately. Some of y'all may have been getting re-energized or feel like uh a new awakening or a new beginning that's going on in your life. Some uh some may be going through a situation where you may be going like downhill a little bit where you're going in and out and you just don't know where to go with life. But spirit came to tell me that everything is going in for your purpose. So let's go ahead and get started in the reading. Now we will talk about past, present, and what are some of the guides that Angel will send us for every Virgo that up on here so we can prosper and grow. Spirit guides, angels and universe, we just want to thank you for today for every Virgo that's coming in. Please help every one of the Virgos as we sun, moon, rising, north, node, and Venus as we go through our journey and give us the understanding and the light that is needed for all of us to go through the proper way and a proper blueprint to get through everyday life. I say, I say, yes, I am a Virgo myself. So again, this is for sun, moon, rising, north, node, and Venus. Let's get started. Spirit guys, in the universe, what do we have for Virgos? What do we have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, and Venus? Okay. Can we get two more to start us off? What do we have? I say. One Ooh. All right. Now, I'm going to put it right here so you can see it. I'm going to take it just like this. This is just probably the situation that's going on at hand. I feel like some of us with the seven of swords basically being in reverse. This is basically just letting us know that maybe your mental logic or maybe your mindset is set on something totally different how it used to be. Maybe someone is coming clean or maybe you finally progressing on with going on because the actions, because it's clarified by the queen of wands, page of wands, and the star card. So it is letting us know why you, why you progressing, take the energy how it go. Why you are progressing towards your journey with these queen of wands i feel like the action that you are taking is very significant right now i feel like you are being more determined and you are inspiring and you making that valid decision to walk and as you walking you carrying this page type of wand energy so that is letting us know you are taking action you probably doing a new way of expressing yourself and even with this star card it is letting us all know every virgo in here that you are getting guidance from above you are believing in yourself you putting your yourself, you trusting yourself, you are in the healing process. This is a certain situation that is going on right now. We'll clear for more about it later on. Spirit guys, angel universe, what do we have for Virgos with as the challenge right now? What do we have for Virgos for the challenge? Ashe, can we get two more please right now? What is going on for Virgos? Sun, moon, rising, north node and Venus. What is the challenge that Virgos need to face? Sun, moon, rising, north node and Venus. Can I get one more, please? I say. All right. So we got the three of swords clarified by the ace of pentacles in reverse, the eight of swords, and we also got the king of swords. Ooh, I feel like somebody may be going through some type of awakening or some type of pain that it may be some financial pain, but spirit just want me to tell you that everything's going to be okay. I feel like you may be blindfolded or getting blindfolded by what's going on and everything in life situation. You might just be feeling some type of way about that. I feel like, but you are starting to take some type of ambition or some type of drive to get yourself together. You could be messing with an air sign. I see air signs in this, uh, a significant air sign, Aquarius. Is Gemini or Libra, and I also see a little bit, just a tad bit of that fire up in there, but it's, it's majority of that air sign. So let's go ahead. Spirit Woman just want to let you know. Even with this three of swords basically being upright, I feel like even still mentally in your head, it's some type of pain that's going on. It's some type of betrayal us. It may be a third party in the situation dealing with your finances. Somebody may be hating on you because we got the Ace of Pentacles basically being in reverse. So this is basically letting us know when it's in reverse. I just feel like 
oh, it's just a, some type of imbalance. Yep, it's dealing with your finances. It may be a neglect of responsibility and it's blindsiding you. It's it's keeping you into a point where you don't know where you want to go in life and you're feeling like you're stuck from all angles. It feel like people coming all against you. These are the challenges, but this is all mental. Spirit woman to let you know it's all mental because when you got the eight of swords and the king of swords, this is basically letting me and you know just as well as all the other Virgos in here. You may be feeling like you trapped. You may be feeling like you confused. You may be feeling like you can't sleep. You may be feeling like all these type of things. You may feel like you've been victimized in a situation, but you're the, uh, cutting through all the BS now. You stand as firm and stern in your direction. You stand as stern in your purpose. Your d decision and your judgment is putting you to where you need to be. Okay, so let's go on and break it back. Let's go back just a little bit for this little short reading for all the verse today. Okay, for your past energy. Remember, we got that seven of swords basically being in reverse. So that's just basically letting us all know with it being in reverse, someone is coming clean, but you're moving forward. You may be progressing on because with that queen energy, you may be determined to get to where you need to be and you holding your energy because you're illuminating. Now, the challenge spirit want me to let you know again, mentally, whatever pain that you had inside your mind, dealing with your finances, dealing with an ex, dealing with any type of betrayal, any type of heartbreak, it's time to let that go because it's hindering you in with these eight of swords, baby. It's hindering you in real, real deep. You feel like you're trapped. You feel like you bounded down with nowhere to go, but you got to get your mind and cut stern and cut firm through what you're going through. Once you start cutting all that BS, all the people coming to you the wrong way, all that being friendly with people, you got to stand firm in your purpose. It's okay to tell people no, okay? Spirit just want me to let you know it's okay to tell people no. Let's clarify a little bit more what's going on. Let's let's get a little acceptance right quick. Now, let's go back. I want to clarify this before we even get the angel messages for, for the rest of the reading. Okay? Now, the decks that I'm using, the Rider Waite deck, the Golden Universal Tech deck, excuse me, and I will also use the African American Tarot deck as well. So, let's go, let's go back into the past a little bit. I want to go back. We got we to gotta let this be known. All right, spirit guides, what do we have for the past? Can I get one? Just to let nothing go up. See, we got that emperor card. I mean, the hierophant, excuse me. I am so sorry. So uh, the hierophant. So I basically feel like, no, it's the emperor, excuse me. I'm so, so, so sorry. Uh, my That deck right there got so many cards look similar in it. Uh, forgive me. So here we go. Now we got that emperor for your past and you are standing firm in your power. The situation is going on while you are standing firm in it. Then again, you just watching out for everything. And now for the challenge that you need to face also with this situation. Boom. Oh, yep. We got our card. We got the hermit card. So even while you feel like you stuck, this is a challenge. You may need to go back in isolation for a minute. You need to start looking and seeing things more clearly, Virgo, okay? Because that's what we know to do. We are perfectionists. You know we are down to detail. So we might need to go back to that board and start looking at things in another type of way, in another type of situation so we can cut through all the BS, so we can progress on. Anybody who's trying to hurt you or anybody who's having pain, let that go, baby. Spirit said they're going to take care of that for you, okay? While they sit up there and taking care of that for you, you you got to keep pressing on. You got to release all that pain. You got to release all that hurt. You got to release all that tension that you have deep inside. Just let it go and let spirit take care of it. Go in meditation. That's what that hermit car here. That's why we got our car here. You see? With that hermit car right there, we need to go deep in meditation and manifest and sit up and ask God for what we need and clear our mind to get some of these things out the way. Do you understand? Do you feel what I'm saying? Uh, yes, yes, I know you do. I know you do, Vert. So let's go ahead and get the end of this. Let's go to see what spirit have to guide us with. Okay, see what spirit have to guide us with. I'm gonna put this to the side. We're gonna keep using the deck that we got. Spirit guide in the universe. What kind of guidance do we have? Anything else? Oh yes. Can I get one more? I'll take those. Can I get one more, please, spirit? I say, I say. Now we got the emperor for the guidance with the eight of cups. Five of Wands upright, and we also got the King of Pentacles. So Spirit is trying to let let us know, Vert, not just me, us, Virg, North 
Oh, excuse me. Sun, moon, rising, north node, and Venus is just letting us know. See, I'm getting so excited. So maybe you are maybe so excited into a project. You excited and more ambitious to get things done. You might be goal setting right now. Set up a completing missions, completing everything. Spirit just want me to let you know. Now, with this emperor card being upright, it is telling us we need to keep on standing structure, keep on standing stern, keep on standing in our power because you keep going. Now, Verd, it's some things with this eight of cups. Clar clarification from the Empress, the Eight of Cups being upright, the Five of Wands and the King of Pentacles, Spirit is letting us know even though we stand in stern, we might need to walk away from things that no longer suits us. You're going to have to walk away, baby. You see what I'm saying? You're going to have to walk away from things that no longer suit you, okay? You see how he's walking away on that journey? Maybe that red, the red represents power. So you're going to have to walk away from some things that is emotionally not standing right for you because it's going to keep creating chaos in your life, okay? We don't want no more chaos up in our life. We don't want none of that because we are searching for our money and we are being ambitious with it. It's going to be a slow progress, but Spirit Woman let you know, keep standing in your power. And once you get everything that you need together, everything is going to work out prosperous the way that it needs to be. I just want to say, this is Tarot by One Star Baby, and this is for all my Virgos. Keep standing firm in your purpose. Keep being positive and keep being the best you you can be. I just want to say I love you, baby. Yeah.